So when I write an email, guys, here's what I do. I literally log into my email autoresponder. Okay, this is what I call a million dollar habit. Okay, million dollar habit. All of you, after you get back uh, from this event, even while you're here, you want to get into the habit of emailing your list every single day. When you wake up in the morning and you go to sit down in front of your computer and do work, always start off with the highest leveraged work you can do. Don't go to Facebook and start checking what everyone's doing or, or go to YouTube or open your email inbox and start reacting because then you set the tone for the day to be in a reactive state. You're reacting to everyone else's content and promotions. Okay, Rather than consuming everyone else's marketing, you want to flip that around. You want to be the one marketing to everyone else. Okay, So the first thing you do in the morning is you're creating content, you're creating promotional material that you can go and make money with. Okay, You start with the high leverage stuff, first thing in the morning. So writing an email out to your list, that's high leverage. Okay, This is an activity that depending on the size and the responsiveness of your list, this can pay you $100 an hour, can pay you $1,000 an hour, could even pay you up to $5,000 per hour and above. Okay, It's a high leverage activity. So literally what I do guys is I log into my email autoresponder just like you will log into Aweber or whatever it is and I write my email. Okay, When I write my email I usually start off by telling a story. Why do you think I like to tell stories in emails? Connection, engagement. We are conditioned from a very young age to love stories. Okay, as, as little kids, many of us, we had our parents reading to us at night, telling us stories. We went to the movies. Okay, who loves still going to the movies today? Okay, so do I. You love going to the cinema. And you'll notice that even when you go into a movie at a cinema, even if the movie sucks, you normally stay until the very end, right? Because you want to hear the ending. We're conditioned that when you start telling a story or you start hearing a story, you want to know what's the resolution, what's the ending, even if it's not that good. Okay, so once you start to tell a story, stories do not come across as marketing. That's the irony here. Stories do not come across as marketing, yet they are the greatest form of marketing ever. Your ability to tell stories. So I wrote this email and I'll zoom in on this and this is not, it's not a work of art, okay? This is not the best email. I wrote this and I was half asleep this morning. I was like trying to force myself to be creative. But it's, it's literally just like this. I say, hey, so I'm back in Bali this week for the Diamond Mastermind. You notice that I have a link. Where's that link going? It's going to the Diamond Mastermind sales page. I send this out to my list knowing that I'm not going to get a $30,000 sale from someone clicking on this. I know that that's very unlikely. But what I know is that if people can see the offer enough, okay, that, that resistance to buying, you start to chip away at it. Okay, and over time, it could be, could be weeks, it could be months, uh, they will buy. And that's, that's a $30,000 program. Now, if we're talking about a $49 MTTB, that's a very different story. Okay, that doesn't take anywhere near as much effort to chip away at buyer's resistance. But part of the reason why I do this, why I put the masterminds and I link to them in the emails is because I know that through continuous exposure, people start to become open to the idea of, of buying. There might be someone who gets this email, which I'm about to send right now in front of you, and this, this plants a seed. This plants a seed in their mind. They think, oh, diamond mastermind. Wow, one day I'll go to that. And then maybe a month from now, they're at a live event and they hear it again, the Diamond Mastermind. And the, the seed's already been planted. They're already open to the idea. And then they're ready to buy. Okay, getting that big sale at the end, the big yes, the $30,000 yes. That, that big yes is the sum total of a lot of little yeses. Okay, so in your marketing, it's all about getting those little yeses continuously. So anyway, let me read this out. So I'm back in Bali this week for the Diamond Mastermind event. I arrived here at the Rimba Resort and I'm going on stage to teach a segment in about an hour. At 10 days, this is the longest mastermind event we do where many of our affiliates or consultants as we call them, get together to learn top marketing strategies and get a fully operational marketing funnel built for them. Okay, so I'm just telling a story of what I'm doing. Could you guys all do this? Absolutely. You could and you should be doing this. In fact, while you're here at Diamond, 
I want you to be doing this every single day. While you're here, don't wait till you get home. Start implementing right here at this event. Okay, so when you go up to your room this afternoon or tonight, first thing you gotta do, go to Facebook and you write a story-based post and you post it. Go to your, your email autoresponder and write an email. And if you don't have an email autoresponder, that's the first thing you need to do. You need to go and get one. 